Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading, Sagittarius, I want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know what the hell is going on. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just so frustrated. Um, so I wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know it has come to our attention that there are a lot of fakes out there creating fake profiles on Instagram, on Facebook, here on YouTube, uh, pretending to be me, uh, stealing some of our videos and claiming it to be me. Like I said, I've had other people contact me that they made payments to these people for readings or for services that were never rendered because it was never me. So if you do come across those type of accounts, Please, please, please report them as soon as possible so that they can be deleted. Not sure why they're doing this. Um, I had mentioned previously, I think it was like a year and a half ago, that there was a specific female that was pretending to me to be me here on YouTube. Um, and that account was shut down. Um, and now I come to find out that she created a Facebook um, with some of my pictures. Um, and clearly it's not me. Uh, so a few of my subscribers, some of my beautiful clients brought that to my attention. Uh, and that account apparently has been shut down, but not sure who she is. Not sure if she's a stalker, not sure if she's obsessed. I don't know what the fuck, but it's the same person from last year. Um, amongst other ones that have been created that are fakes, like I said. So I please ask you guys to report those accounts whenever you come across them here on youtube as well we've been getting a lot of spammers it is just so freaking aggravating um if you see in the comment section people trying to lure you to going to get a different service or to a different account or anything like that just report it so it could be removed i was thinking of removing the comment section because that's just becoming so a pest it's becoming a pest really um but I don't want to be, you know, unfair to you guys and unjustly and take away the opportunity for you guys to express yourselves on here. So I'm not going to do that. But if you do come across those freaking spammers, just report them. Uh, let YouTube handle that. All right. So let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to love and romance. Sorry for the long intro. How are you doing, Sagittarius? How is this? retrograde treating you guys i hope you guys are being treated much more kindlier than i am <laughs> it's really activating my chart so dealing with it um my patience is not the best lately all right let's get into your reading sagittarius in regards to love and romance spirits what are the messages you have for sagittarius sun moon rising venus for the remaining of june 2021 okay one more all right, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Oof. We have the Death card, the Star card, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Princess of Cups. Wow, beautiful energy. All right, Sagittarius, you're starting off with the Death card. This is in your position. position. So this is talking about a major transformation, an upheaval of transformation that you're currently going through. Uh, for some of you guys dealing with the ending or the acceptance of an ending of a relationship or partnership, it's coming to the understanding or knowing that you're best off uh, going your own separate ways. Uh, for some of you guys, this could have been a karmic situation that you're finally coming to a conclusion of, either learning your lesson or understanding that this is very toxic and being able to pull away from that. Now, you also have the star card here. So this is illumination. Uh, this is being guided. This is spirit guides, uh, opening pathways, opening doors up for you. Uh, this can also indicate uh, notoriety. So this could represent uh, feeling yourself, starting to notice that you're getting a lot of attention, people really coming to you, being drawn to you. But this is, this is knowing your self-worth, Sagittarius, especially with the death card. It's a transformation in how you view yourself or how you value yourself. Whereas with the two of pentacles, there is hesitation, uh, hesitation, whether it be to embrace this, this ending. Um, but with the star card, it is illumination. It is finally coming to the understanding that you are better off uh, working on yourself, loving yourself, acknowledging yourself, um, 
the effort that you bring into relationships. There is value in that. There is power in that. And anyone that doesn't appreciate that, you have to come to the understanding that there is a need for you to take or make a decision to pull and withdraw your energy to be able to go on to a much better energy, to be able to embrace a new beginning where you're going to be cherished, you're going to be treated rightfully so, you're going to be respected, you're going to be admired, you're going to be loved. Ten of Pentacles is an indication of a higher commitment. So this is talking about um, being illuminated towards the path of a specific individual that is going to be able to create or bring to you the emotional stability that you've been wanting. For some of you guys, it's ending a relationship where there was hesitation because whether it was commitment, whether it was marriage, whether it was being with someone for a very long time, really trying to put effort, trying to fix it, trying to work through that and understanding, finally coming to the understanding that it's time to walk away. So you're making the choice of pulling away. But for some of you guys, you may be weighing two different options. You may be dealing with two different people. For others of you, it's ending a cycle and being able to embrace this new beginning with a new uh, connection or a new partnership that's coming through. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, do not despair, my lovelies. There is commitment coming through. I feel very strongly that in the next coming two weeks, there's going to be a transformation, something that happens within you where you feel like you are strong enough or you are ready to embrace new beginnings. New beginnings is coming as a being ready to date. So again, if you've been single for quite a while and you felt like you just haven't been pulled towards anyone, no one has really sparked your interest, that's quickly going to be changing. As I do feel very heavily for a lot of you Sagittarians, uh, you're going to have between two choices. I see two making a decision between two people. Uh, you may be dealing with a Scorpio. You may be dealing with an Aquarian moon um, or Venus, uh, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But what they're telling you here is listen to the syn uh, synchronicities that you're experiencing right now, Sagittarius, because if you have an experience, you're going to start to experience a lot of angel numbers. You're going to start to experience a lot of coincidences. Um, if you were in between dealing with a past person and a new person, what spirit is telling you here is pay attention because the one that the universe wants you to open your heart up to is the person that they keep bringing into you. So this could be a situation where you continuously keep bumping into them. You keep hearing their name or you keep um, a lot of things are like sync in, in synchronization. Basically, either you see their name constantly popping up, uh, something that constantly reminds you of them. This is the universe conspiring to bring you guys together, to be able to give to you the happiness that you deserve um, being able to receive reciprocation of love, um, being able to, again, this is destiny, you guys. So I feel very strongly for a lot of you guys, you're going to be experiencing a predestined uh, connection with someone that's coming through where it's no coincidence. Um, there is a lot of spirituality around this connection. So again, uh, listen and pay attention to those signs. And give into it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to love. Don't be scared to give yourself uh, the opportunity to be happy again, Sagittarius. You deserve it. You have a heart of gold. Although sometimes people may have trouble trying to understand you, you have a heart of gold and your intentions are always pure. So again, give yourself the opportunity to find that happiness, that stability and go after, you know, be fearless when it comes to your happiness, Sagittarius. Don't sacrifice it for anyone anymore. If someone's not cutting it out, walk the hell away from that. Pull your energy back. It's time, you know, it, it's time for you to fully come to the understanding of your worthiness and understanding what you deserve. And this can also represent having that connection, having that strong connection with a specific individual where you may feel like even... For some of you guys, like there is some type of feeling of unworthiness, feeling like, you know, they would never be interested in me or 
you know, they deserve better than me. Like, no, what spirit is telling you is you're not seeing the value in you. It's time that you start seeing yourself for the worthiness person and that you deserve happiness and you deserve good things in life. So again, be fearless in the pursuit of your happiness. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you guys insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Till then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.